Right, uh, in this last part uh, of the video, what we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how you write, uh, actually, uh, read a file from, uh, a data from file, and then put them in the, in the text area. Before we go any further, in here, before we do it, anything, uh, recall on the video and the tutorials and the class work we've done on serializations when we read, uh, we wrote actually an object as a whole and we read the object. Just let me go back to it and then we can start uh, from, uh, from there. Uh, of course, one, we have a class, uh, if you look in here, as the class here, it opens, the class, as you recall, because serialization, you have to put uh, import Java IO serializable, and make sure if you want any items or attributes of the class to be uh, serialized, you have to say implement, uh, implement serializables. Uh, in this class, we have, because it's students list, we've got students ID, first name, last name, and that's, that's all. Uh, we've done this, you can refer to this uh, in the previous uh, previous lectures, previous codes, uh, or uh, if we've done a video, uh, probably can recall uh, on, on the video. So that's, I've done it. Uh, and to write actually the object, we've done, uh, if you recall, it's called object write and object read. We've done it uh, in, the, in the class. Uh, and here, if I want to create an, a list, for instance, I can use the array list, and here, here it is. I've created, and I'll talk, I'll walk you through it, then, uh, then that will help us actually to understand how to land the GUI. The first thing, make sure uh, you've got input output here, because the input output, it helps you to do this. The file output stream, and the object output stream. Uh, you create an array list in here. The array list of type, of course, of the class, uh, students list because our class is called a student list refer to this this one here there's a class actually we just looked at before uh, a new array list uh, so so I've created the three uh, this I'm using just the the, the the constructor with data so I've created the three objects the students as the I the ID first name last name ID first name last name and so on. there are three in here of course Make sure, because the file, you have to use try and catch, listen here, because this is a file, file subsource and I.O. exceptions. Uh, and here, these are the files, this one, the, the file output stream, and refer to the file you exist. So the first thing is, you create a file, as a file, as a file. And then your, this is your program. If I say this is your program, there it is, as your uh, program, P, and this is the file here. Uh, so first of all, you create in here the file, and then you create a stream, which is uh, the stream, sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to get the scalar here. Uh, the stream is gonna, uh, the second statement is gonna create the stream to open, can you see it here? Uh, object output stream OS new object so whatever the program writes it goes direct to this file it's going to be created uh, so here it is the first statement we wrote and here list the size it means how many elements we have so that's of course number it's going to be number three this is by the way by the way uh, it's not text text uh, it's not text uh, it's going to be like serializable so here and then uh, of course, this is a statement just out output on the on the screen. Uh, there's got a list here for int i zero to list those size which means it's a three, so it's going to be zero one and two. And all you say OS write object list a get of i because it's going to get this one. So the first object is write this, the second object is Alan Jack, and third object is Maryam Al Zarabi. And here, uh, this is only print statement to see the output you close it this is your and here that's the for statement it has your for statement so you close your for statements here and then you close there it is you close and here you close the stream first so you close this 
first. Can you see it? Here's a close. I'm closing the stream first, and then I'm closing the file because that's created here. And then our exception, and that's program is finished. This is already done, and that's files created. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to read this in our uh, GUI. For reading as well, let me just take you back. Move this one here. I'll take you back to the read, and uh, it says that's object read in your. <coughs> On your blackboard things and we've done it in the class and be saved uh, for you uh, however I've got something here we've done done it similar to this uh, here it is uh, all you do in here here it is input output the same things in here uh, make sure here it is public try because this is try to open the file the try and it's, I, it's, it's exceptions not exception you can do I exceptions it's exception actually has the file and put stream and object similar to this. What file will you create it in here? Of course, in the GUI, you, know, you select that from the menu. Uh, so you say end. Remember, we wrote first the number of elements, so we have to read in the same order. We read the number of elements and the array, of course, from one to three, because they are three. So I'm reading the object. So I'm going to say read option, right? And I'm printing that one, then it close the input and output. What you do in the GUI in here, let me get a little bit of this in here. In the GUI, and now let's go back to our program in here. All we do in this case in here, if you look in here, uh, all you do just copy and paste what you've done in reading, right? Reading the students list. All I'm gonna do, you take all of this here. There it is. It's exactly the same. There it is. Uh, I think that's the one. And this is for uh, that's for the catch. Uh, we'll see. Copy it, and then you take it back to here, and we'll add it in here. There it is. All right. This. Can you see that? We added this to here. Right. Now, same thing, so I've done the file output, I make sure, and uh, make sure in here, you have to say I.O., and it is, so I should have something that says uh, I.O. Uh, in here, I'm sorry, it's here, which is this one, in here. Because if I remove this, I.O., that's not gonna work, try it, yeah? As we wanna should give me error, can you see the errors here? The files, and, because this is for input and output, so of course, uh, you need and that's for input out. You can make it explicit, but make on the safe side just use the IO to start in here. So we've done all of that in here. Uh, we've done all this and objects as uh, read objects and objects in here and so on. <coughs> uh, we're doing we doing all all of this in here. However, uh, you can do it either this way or you can do create an array list. All right, you can do this or you can create an array list is up to you the way you want to uh, do it in here. Array list is, is better because for the same will help. Uh, how do I do the array list? Uh, of course, we call on the array list uh, in here. Uh, all you do, just do it right at the top here. Come on the top here. And you can say, for instance, create array list. Uh, remember, the array list is. <coughs> Uh, what we're going to do, uh, I can say the array. Make sure you add util here because this is that util is not here. Look at that, it's going to give us an error. And this, uh, I'm going to say we have a student list and the student, the class student list, list here, and call the object for instance, we call it list equal a new, and it is array. A list a student list it is, and of course this one in here can you see the error here the error because of here you have to go back in here and you say import java you tell because this is the api you tell here so any utility you see in here there's no error here because this is part of it. we created a list it's called 
list in here. You can call it a name you want, but we'll call it list here uh, for uh, simplicity here. So what we're going to do uh, in here, the things will be changed around here. Uh, here it is. Uh, where are we? Uh, we are here. So as soon as I read, I read an object, here it is. I read uh, an object, for instance, the, the object here. Uh, I can cast it or I can add it to the, the, to the, uh, to the list uh, in here. Uh, but first of all, I have to cast the object. You can cast it or you can just add it straight away. I'm going to cast it on the safe side. Student list. Say SL equal uh, to student list. You don't need to use that, uh, but just be on safe side. Uh, if it works for you without it, so don't use it. Student list. As I'm casting it, I'm just trying to actually show you how you cast things in here. And of course, I'm using uh, the name is option. Can you see option here? I'm casting option uh, in here. So I've done that. There it is. And then I am going to add it to the list. I've got the list, it's called list. As remember, add, there it is. What do you need to add to the list? Of course, SL. There it is. SL, here. Yeah. There you go. You can do it direct, straight away. You don't need to do that. You can say list dot add, of course, option. It works. If it works for you, that's absolutely fine. It is not no problem. Uh, what's so other. all I'm going to do now before do anything in here I'm going to uh, print look at that uh, I'm going to print in here a uh, print statement just to see actually I'm really reading uh, the objects from from the file so of course uh, to read it I've got a list a list dot get the number get i that is uh, I've got i s i and of course, this is two string. That's what it means. Uh, I can say uh, this is usually as we call for the encapsulations and so on. Uh, this actually, if we have something students list, it calls. If I say list dot get and print it, it goes direct to implicitly. It goes to the two strings. So it's going to print students ID, first name, and last name from the file. You can do that, and it works fine. Uh, if you want to just in case, you can do two strings. Here it is, as two string, and it still works. So, up to you, whatever you want to use. The both of them is exactly the same things. What I'm going to do first, first thing is I'm going to create the file. Here it is. Look at this file. I'm going to create a file it's called student data. So, I'm going to run it first. Here it is. I'm running this program in here. Run this program. And here's the data has been created for me in a file. Uh, now I can go to the GUI in here. And on that GUI, I will say run it first, the GUI. Uh, here's the GUI. And I say the print statement. So the result will appear first in here to make sure. And then I can add it to this one. So I can say open. There it is, open. Uh, and if you look, as the student's data has been created here. I can say open. Here it is. Can you see the data? The data appears straight away. And uh, that appears straight away uh, on, on on here. Uh, so uh, here they are. As the data arrived from the file. What I want to do, I want to move this data, right? And I would like to add them into the text area here. How would I do that? It's very simple here. Right? Uh, let me get rid of this in here, and uh, this one here, and then close my program. Uh, it's very simple statements I can add in here. So we are happy. Uh, all the data is absolutely working in here. All you do in here uh, is you, you need to have a look at this and uh, in here. Uh, so after you come uh, finish off this, after the IO exceptions, uh, the IO exceptions, which is in here, help us. You come here and you need to put it to the text area. Uh, so you can say for, uh, I'm going to just put a comment here for you. Uh, now, now uh, you need to append this. Remember this word, append. The results or the data, the data into the text area. 
Right. How do I do that? Of course, for statement because this is a loop. For and uh, i equals zero i uh, less than list dot of course size. That's because we need uh, need, uh, need the, uh, the the size of course. And it is and typical i uh, typical for statement. Here it is, and I can do. Uh, this part I can put an array, I can put it, uh, I can put it in a bracket, or it depends what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do. Here it is. Uh, so I'm gonna say here, yeah, uh, say text area, text, I'm sorry, text area, that's what's called, right? Our variable is called text area. Let's go back in here and make sure it's text area. Uh, text, what's text area? Has text area equals text area. Can you see that small text area? If I so go in here, there it is. Text area dot remember append append. Here it is. Append. What will I append? Append actually the them in, in, in the list. So I can say I've got my list. Get look at that. Get you get what? In the get i, it is get and you put i. There it is. I and of course then dot as we've done this before get id get id i can do it like that if i want look at that get id and this is it's done a uh, text area append uh, append uh, a list get uh, i and then get uh, i id uh, in here uh, of course i need uh, to put uh, do I have get ID in here make sure uh, in here uh, if I have the get uh, ID in this and here can I let's see that's in here uh, the get ID uh, get ID uh, get uh, get ID must be get ID somewhere uh, has a set ID get uh, get ID here it is get ID there we go uh, so if I look in here, I text area dot append. Uh, why it doesn't look like the append? Let me just go back to it and start from beginning here. Text area, and I text area dot uh, should be append somewhere. Else append append. That is, uh, in the append, of course, I'm going to say list dot get. That is, get. And I've got I, uh, and then I can say get ID is there, uh, and then I can say plus put some space backslash T in here, and then I can say well, and I can add actually the second one to it. So I can come here, and the second one, and I'm gonna do. Uh, the same things. Oh, I just put if I want to do this in here, uh, this one uh, in here, and just put it like uh, like that uh, in here. Uh, then I'm gonna say a uh, text. I'm gonna do one one at a time. Uh, text uh, uh, text area uh, uh, append uh, text again, uh, and I'm gonna say list dot get of i dot get get what is it will get uh, of i that's i and then dot get first name as first name you see that in here and i'm gonna say for instance backslash the plus then backslash t just put a space actually in here and I can add, I can add this, I can add them both all together. But I'm just appending uh, them as we we go along. And uh, then I can say, uh, see what that uh, is gonna uh, is gonna appear in here. Uh, I can say text like that, uh, text area dot append. Look at that. Uh, by the way, this doesn't give you a new line. Uh, the new line you have to be explicit you have to say backslash and to give you a new line on the text area uh, of course i'm going to say list dot get there it is i 
that dot get last name that is ego so I have last name and that's that's been done uh, and, and, and here well this is uh, an error here and uh, the error was the error here and let me see that here and that's there it is hopefully uh, append list get i but get first name plus uh, let me see all right because this is two in here actually that's the mistakes in here I don't know, so been done twice. Uh, now, this is good. Uh, whatever you say, pet is going to be in the same line. Of course, you can say text area, yeah, text area dot append if you want, something like that. And of course, you put backslash n in here, all right? And uh, that's that's what do it uh, for you uh, in here, which is append. Actually, if you look at this app, so this one, you don't need that. Why that's that came from right uh, if I look in here uh, of course this is that's what it is in here and I'm gonna say there it is so if you look at that here <clears throat> I can put them separate I can put them not so I'm gonna run the first program I'm gonna see actually the results is gonna appear in, in here so I've got this I open the file here yeah, open and I've got the file here. If, if I've got file somewhere else, I think the file we've done before similar, which is I can go anywhere. I can go this one here. If you look, and I've got a similar one we've done before. Uh, I think it was done here. Here it is. If I click on this file, for instance, this is done in the one of the chapters with the DC residuals. Open. Here it is. Can you see them? There they are. So I put them in the right order in here. I say it's between each one of them backslash t, so it's top. Can you see that in here? Uh, that's uh, how you put this into uh, the files. Of course, uh, one last thing. Uh, I'm closing my my programs in here. Uh, I'm going to move this this one because I don't want that to print statement anymore because that appears. Right. There's one word of. Uh, so we, what we said we say is we don't. Uh, we can do it like that and we can do it actually remove all of this and all you do are typical uh, print the statements and remove all of this here just make it one statement there it is you see that uh, in here uh, and then this is not uh, this is a plus uh, plus in here uh, and of course this is the same things in here uh, i can say plus Last one, this one, it goes here as well. One single statement that is, if you look at this, and of course, we're gonna say that it is, and we're gonna say that it is uh, backslash n, right? And that will push it off here, and I can get it off of this line. I don't need this line uh, any anymore in here. There it is. So if I do this, there it is. That's what do it for me. Uh, as well as one single line. Uh, do this, then I'll show you the word of uh, when I say it's actually uh, word of uh, caution uh, in here. Uh, when I do this, I'm going to demonstrate it first, then we can, we can, I'll tell you what to do with it. Add the data file, for instance. I can navigate. You can navigate. If you've got anywhere in the system, you can navigate, of course. So if I took this file in here, uh, open it, and uh, so it's got in here. Look at this again. If I open the file again, look, if I open the file again, look what's going to happen here. Right? This is the, the what I want to show you, actually. So, look at it. It's adding to it. So, if I do that again, here it is. And let's open this the file. It, it, oh, it adds to it. So, how can I get it of that? Of course, very simple. Yeah? Very simple. Uh, to get it of that, it's very simple things. All you need to do before the try, here it is, before the try, because that's why I try to open the files. Before the try, in here, only say list, here it is, that's your list. Right, clear it, clear it, here it is, clear it. As soon as you do that, that actually get rid of all that problem we had before. Run it again, run the program, and see it in here. 
There you go. Open the file. Open. There it is. Format again. Open the file. If you notice. And say here. Uh, right, it should actually be there should be a clear there at all. Uh, let me see why this clear uh, is not uh, is not working. And here, let me see that should should works. Uh, is it is it right? In Windows, usual this works absolutely fine. Let me try this. Try it again. And it is. Uh, of course, as yes, before, the try. You need to say list and a clear. Uh, I'm sure when I do that, that would actually remove it. Uh, but it's, uh, there's something actually is the issue problem with 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 Mac. Can you check it on your Windows? And uh, if there's an, still an issue, then uh, just let me uh, let me know. There's one uh, one thing I need to to add for you as well. Uh, in here is when I put something uh, in here, for instance, I say model for Damson uh, in here. Two, three, four, five, six. And I would say, for instance, what the fur? That here, and I would say add. And when I say add, add, that should actually bring it in here and can add it. And then the other part, we can say click on save, and that save the list uh, for us. The list actually, when you say save on the list, is exactly the same as you're gonna use this in here. You're gonna use this part in here. Right, that's for writing at uh, the outside and uh, the files uh, outside. So if I go here, uh, of course, this is because I've done this. All right, this goes back in, in, in here. And uh, there's one thing it's causing uh, uh, in here. If I go back in here, uh, look at this, the GUI, uh, and so on. Uh, the reason why the clear is not, uh, if you notice, is actually looking for uh, this the file. Input setting that's something we missed. That shouldn't be here, it should be this, it should be the file we chose. So, this is the file here. The file we chose is the file here. That's the file, right? Here's the file. So, now we're gonna see actually what's gonna, what's gonna happen now. And uh, now, for that's why the list is not being clear here. We missed on that part. I do apologize. Right, so because you don't need that, you get from the list. So if I go to the list in here and open the files as file here, there you go. So if I open again, open again, and open the file, right, it's still, it's still doing it actually in here. But as, as I say, this is probably uh, one of the issues with the uh, uh, iMac. Check it on the Windows if you're on the Windows and let me know if you still have the same problem. Then we can sort uh, that issue uh, for you uh, again. Uh, thank you very much. And if you have any issue, uh, uh, please let me know. And this concludes actually how you create drop down menus and how to open a file, how you read from file, write to a file. And I might add uh, something here for you as well. For an extra video, is when I add something here items, I can click and should appear in here. And I can, of course click on save uh, but this you can try uh, on these options and let me know if you have uh, an, an issue thank you very much uh, for your patience with me and i look forward uh, for any uh, questions uh, you may uh, ask thank you very much